And today's sponsor for the Commercial Industrial Council is Carl Bieber with First Trust. Good morning, everybody. First Trust Bank is able to offer SBA lending when conventional lending doesn't uh, fit the bill. Some of the benefits of SBA lending are with a real estate purchase, we can do it with less money down. We can do 10% down instead of the normal 20 to 25% down. We can do longer repayment terms of 25 years instead of the normal conventional of 20 years. SBA lending also can come into play when there is a lack of or a shortage of collateral in a business transaction. Uh, SBA lending is used for business acquisitions and different situations like that expansion. It adds value to the uh, client because the client can have longer repayment terms with less money in and preserve their working capital. So if you know anybody looking for an SBA loan or the benefits of an SBA loan product, give me a call at Carl Beaver with First Trust Bank, 484-332-1998. Thank you. Pete Gustis here, President of the Commercial Industrial Council of Reading Burks Associates and Realtors. Wanted to go over franchising and how it can benefit you. Um, starting a franchise can actually be up to 14 times more successful than owning your own mom and pop business. One of the primary reasons for this is a simple fact that uh, a franchise is actually like buying a turnkey business. Uh, what they actually do when you have a franchise is they help you set up the business. Um, sometimes they'll help you with locations, They'll help you negotiate deals. They'll make sure that the property, um, as well as the building or structure, is built to the standards of the franchisee. Um, one example is Subway. Uh, now, I'm not focusing on Subway for any particular reason that I did help one client in West Reading obtain that building and also um, the Subway franchise. What a Subway, or what a franchise actually does is it gives you a proven system in place where it's a little bit easier to obtain financing um, and it, the proven system that they have goes into um, a situation where you can look at this and, and a bank would look at their finances and say, okay, great, we want to loan you money because you're starting a franchise and they know that they're successful rather than if you go in with your own game plan for a restaurant or some other type of franchise. There's also pest control, um, well, you name it, there's a type of franchise for it, most likely. Uh, but when you're doing a mom and pop, they look at that a little bit more stringently because they know that it's a lot higher uh, failure rate. Um, franchise also gives you a corporate image and recognition. If you open up a franchise, people already know that it's something that they might be interested in because they've heard of the name before, they may have gone to a, a place at another location, and they expect a consistency that they're used to. And that's one thing that helps a franchise become a lot more successful rather than opening up a mom and pop yourself. Um, also the training period. Practically every single franchise will have a period where they allow you to train with them off-site, go to other similar franchises in the area and train so that when you open your store, you're not in a position where you're starting from scratch, you don't know what's going on, and you go through a trial and error period where you may end up losing customers because they're dissatisfied with the service, dissatisfied with food quality, or what have you when it comes to your business. Um, they also provide ongoing support when you have a franchise. Um, what they do is they... <laughs> any type of problems you have, they actually will help you walk through these problems. Um, this owner of the, the subway in West Reading had a problem with a contractor, did not do all the work how they really wanted, and all they did is contact the franchisee subway, explain that they didn't like the quality of some of the work, and of course subway then has a contract with a person that was hired to do the repair work, and they had to fix it for free. Um, if you open up a mom and pop and you're dissatisfied with the quality of the work that you receive from somebody you may have hired, you know, it could be difficult to get that person to correct, correct something after the fact because they know you may have to sue them or something else to be able to get any type of issues rectified. Um, also, marketing. A, a franchise will typically do most of the marketing. Uh, I would always encourage you to try to do things yourself to become more successful but uh, most of the marketing is done nationally and on state levels. So when that's done, they kind of do most of that stuff for you so you don't have to do too much. 
Um, what a franchise also does is they typically give people an exclusive territory. So no other franchise can open up like that right next to you. And it helps to eliminate some of the competition that's involved with that type of business. You know, auto businesses do the same thing. They like to give people territories uh, because they know it would make it more successful rather than if there were, you know, five subways all on the same block, which obviously you, you get group competition because of that. And it also allows for an owner to grow more quickly. When you have a franchise and you're doing well, you have, you have options to get other locations quickly. When you have a mom and pop, you know, things t typically become a little bit slower. If you wanted to open up a new location and say it was 20 miles away, well, you're starting from scratch with your mom and pop most likely because people haven't heard of you, people haven't, you know, tried your food or they don't know about the service that you do with a pest control business or something like that and you're almost starting over all again where when you're going with a franchise you get to start with this same simple process again starting up the business and doing whatever you want to do so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to show you a short presentation of websites and what they do the water All right, when you're looking at the website here, similar to almost every company that you can see, they have multiple links, own a franchise. Why? Of course, they want more business and they want you to be successful. If you weren't successful, they would not be able to operate. So you can simply look at something like this, own a franchise, click to apply today, uh, input your information. Okay, hold on one second and they provide so much information about um, setting up a franchise. They actually go into detail on these sites about how much you would have to spend, and they actually will figure out most of this for you. So something like a Subway, actually they have a base amount of around, excuse me, $100,000. So when you're looking at that, they break it down for everything you need to do to be able to open up uh, a subway franchise. In a larger area, of course, $100,000 would not always do it uh, because of the fact of demographics, how much it costs to, um, to build or a lease, but in a lot of areas, 100000 is all you need to open up a franchise. In some places, for other franchises, it could be a lot less. Um, so that's a simple thing there when you're looking at this and saying, well, is this something I can do? They give you a clear game plan they can offer, sometimes offer you opportunities for financing within their own franchising, or if you're doing something with the SBA or another bank, it's actually easier to get finance when they know you're using a well-known franchise because of the simple fact that um, they know it has a success rate that's much higher than a mom and pop. So there are some things that people say could be bad about franchising. Those would include you are limited to do what the franchisee owner requests, um, purchasing food from certain suppliers, making the food certain ways. They do not want you to change recipes or alter things, even though you might think something might taste a little bit better. A uh, franchisee basically does this because they found what they've done to be successful. And sometimes if you cut corners or do something else, it may cause people not to like the services that you're providing. Um, and that's why they do that. They all have restrictions. So as far as negatives, that would definitely be a negative. Um, and that's that. Okay. So in general, the short story on franchises is opening up a franchise can allow you to be successful in your own business a little bit quicker and with a much higher success rate than yourself. Um, they do a lot of the work for you, and they can allow you to be successful in a self-employed business of your choosing. If you have any questions about franchising, feel free to uh, give me a call or email me with questions in the number below. And Pete Gustis with the Commercial Industrial Council of Reading Burks.